Welcome to Top of the Hill Fitness and good for you for clicking on the 45 minute workout. This will be a bigger effort than some of our other ones. And YouTube tells me that if you're still watching at this point, you're likely to do most of the workout. So please subscribe the button below. It'll do wonders for helping us keep the channel going and it will support the arts. Getting ready for a warm up. I'm going to do boxer shuffle for 30 seconds beginning now. For more information about how this channel supports the arts, please see the video description below. Working out today with a painting by Pierre Coupe. And a round painting is called a tondo. So there's some trivia for you. I'm going to move on to standing toe touches next. So a nice controlled movement here. Reaching down with the opposite hand to touch the opposite toe as you raise that leg up. Hip opener is coming up next in five seconds. Okay, hip opener with a hop in the middle. Bring that knee up above hip height. Keep your shoulders point facing forward, opening up the hip. Next, we're gonna do a mountain climber, but we're going to twist with one foot forward, one foot back. So a slow walking mountain climber. And as you bring that right foot forward, twist up with the right arm towards the ceiling and down and switch. Left foot forward, left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Okay, squat with a twist is next. So a nice low squat, squat, bringing those hips down to at least knee level, and then twist to the right, squat, twist to the left. Okay, sunflowers next in five. Okay, as you're doing the sunflower, think about maintaining that circle with your arms over your head, really leaning off to the side and down around and maintain that circle as you come up. You should feel a nice stretch in your side body there. Some mellow jumping jacks in five. Let's make these jumping jacks a decent pace, but not too fast. Just get a good range of motion going. Okay, to keep the heart rate, heart rate up a little bit, we're gonna just do a jog in place. As you're jogging, think about keeping your jaw loose and your neck loose and your shoulders loose and working the arms, good running arms. All right, a 30 second rest. Keep doing a box to shuffle if you wanna keep moving around a little bit. And let's talk a bit about the hit we're gonna do. We've got nine pairs of exercises. We're gonna do an AB, AB format, 45 seconds on, 15 off with no break between the rounds. But some of the rounds will be a little more chill than others. So don't let that worry you. Okay, gonna get ready with a side lunch, side lunch crunch. Off to the right with a side lunge and then 
a crunch at the top. Bring that right knee to the left elbow. I'm going to stay on the right side for this whole interval. Ten to go. Next up is going to be butt kickers. When you're doing the butt kickers, think about the ball of your feet being on the ground for as short amount of time as possible and keeping your toes flexed up towards your shins. And don't forget the arms as well. Okay, now this is a 45 second interval, so go nice and steady. Really think about whipping that heel up towards the butt. Ten to go. Okay, gonna go back to the side crunch, side lunge with a crunch. This time, going off to the left. Okay, lunge to the left, nice and low, good range of motion. And then bring that left knee up and twist the right elbow down. Ten seconds to go. Okay, second round of butt kickers coming up. Do at what pace you feel comfortable doing. Keep in mind this is round one of nine. Okay, go, go, quick. Whipping the heel up towards the butt. And don't forget the running arms. Be loose through the neck, shoulders. Pump the arms. Ten to go. Okay, round one down. This is pretty manageable, wouldn't you say? Don't worry, it gets harder as if, uh, if that's what you're looking for. So pop squats next. Okay, lower down, tap the floor, pop legs together. Keep it moving at a nice steady pace. Ten seconds to go. Okay, next exercise in this pair is the high knee pause. So we're gonna do a running high knee and we're gonna pause every third step. So run, 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 then hold the leg up, run, 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 hold the leg, the other leg up. Okay, 
run, 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 run. Okay, there you go. Going to be working on maintaining that balance when you're holding the leg up. That's a great exercise for as a running drill too. It really helps you focus on your form and your balance as well. Okay, pop squats in five seconds. Okay, get going with the pop squats. Nice quick motion as you come up and bring your feet in and then back down to a full squat. Ten seconds to go. High knee pause coming up again. Really try to stick that hold position with the knee up in the air. Okay, begin. and focus on nice high knees in between as well. Okay, good job. Next up is high plank, knee to opposite elbow. So a nice solid high plank position. Bring that left knee to the right elbow, right knee to the left elbow, and keep it moving. If you want a bit of an extra workout, you can do this as basically a running mountain climber with a twist. The other exercise in this pairing is going to be the prairie dog. So it's just going to be on hands and knees and then left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. And really squeeze that glue to the top. Okay, left arm, right leg, and pause for half a beat at the top there, really squeezing that glue, trying to get that leg straight. Keep your shoulders and your hips square to the mat as well. Ten seconds to go. Another round of high plank, knee to opposite elbow coming up. OK, 
Okay, yeah, don't forget the high plank position. Think of a straight line through your shoulder, down through your hip, through your knee, into your ankle. Ten seconds to go. Good job. Okay, another round of Prairie Dog coming right up. Ten seconds to go with the prayer dog. Good job. Okay, that was a pretty chill round. So now we're ready for burpees. Okay, this one's, uh, yeah, this is going to be the toughest. Let's do good 45 seconds of burpees with a jump full on. Okay, ready? Okay, get going. Look forward as you come up for that jump. Ten seconds to go. Keep it going. Oh, good job. Okay. Next, we're going to do a reverse lunge with a pulse popping up into an airplane. So we're going to go with our left leg back first. So reverse lunge down and pulse pulse, pulse, and then pop up onto the right leg into an airplane position, body parallel to the ground, and then back down. Pulse, 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 and pop up again. Keep that knee bent, work on the balance, all the stabilizer muscles in the right leg. Okay, good job. Keep this going for 20 more seconds. Nice little recovery from the burpees. Ten to go. Okay, get ready for another round of burpees. If you want to walk the burpee, or if you don't want to do the jump to make it a bit easier, by all means, go ahead and do that. Just keep moving through them in three seconds. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, five more seconds, couple more burpees, let's go. Ooh, okay, <laughs> good job. Okay, the reverse lunge pulse to airplane again, this time right leg back, left leg's your standing leg. Okay, back pulse, 
pulse, pulse, and pop up on that left leg. Stabilize, arms out, body parallel to the ground. Okay, good job. Keep that going. Ten seconds to go. Okay, now down onto the mat again, onto our back for bicycle crunch. Nice, slow and steady bicycle crunch. You can definitely pick up the pace if you want to keep your heart rate up. So chest up off the ground, think about twisting that shoulder towards the knee rather than just bringing in the elbow. Ten seconds to go. We're going to pair bicycle crunch with hip raises. So staying on your back, bring your heels in towards your bum, and then raise those hips up off the ground. I like to think almost about curling my pelvis up first and then bringing it up vertebrae by vertebrae off the mat. I squeeze at the top and then down vertebrae by vertebrae and curling my pelvis back to the mat and repeat. Ten more seconds. Okay, getting ready for another round of bicycle crunch. Okay, nice and steady motion with the bicycle crunch. Good job, keep it going. If you do need to put your shoulders down and stretch out, do so for a couple of seconds and then get right back into the bicycle crunch. Ten seconds to go. Okay, hip raises coming up in ten. Yeah, if you rest your hands on your hip bones and tilt your pelvis up, you can really feel the motion there. And then roll up bit by bit and roll down bit by bit with a nice squeeze at the top. Five seconds to go. Okay, good job. Over halfway done our hit. Okay, moving on to inchworm push-ups next. So feet more than shoulder width apart. 
Walk down with your hands, push up at the bottom, and walk back up. And alternate which arm you start the walk out with. Ten seconds to go. Okay, next exercise, we're going to be in a bear crawl position, but we're not going to crawl. We're going to lower ourselves down to our elbow, lift ourselves up from our elbow, and then do a donkey kick with one leg, donkey kick with the other. Make sense? Okay, bear crawl position, down to the elbows, up from the elbows. Donkey kick left, donkey kick right, down to the elbows again. Up from the elbows, donkey kick, donkey kick. Okay, good job, keep that going. Ten seconds to go. Okay, inchworm push up. Round two, part two, I should say. Okay, down, walk out, push up and walk yourself back up. Don't forget to alternate which arm you're starting with. Ten seconds to go. Okay, bear position again, down to the elbows with the donkey kicks. Okay, so bear crawl position, down to the elbows, up from the elbows, donkey kick and donkey kick and repeat Ten seconds to go. Good job. We're moving on to round seven of nine now. Already at seven. Good. Okay, we're going to do squat with a cross punch. Four cross punches. So we're going to squat nice and low. And then left, right, left, right. Okay, squat down. Boop, boop, boop. Ten more seconds, keep it going. Okay, jumping jacks coming up in ten. Let's make them nice, lively jumping jacks. You can do front jack, side jack, seal clap, whatever you like.
Ten more seconds. Keep going. Okay, good job. Now squat with four punches again. Lead with the opposite hand each time. So if you start the punches with your right, next time start with your left. Ten more seconds. Okay, jumping jacks in about ten seconds. Let's make these ones count. We're getting towards the end of our hit here. This is going to be one of the last big uh, heart rate increasers. Okay, begin. Ten seconds to go. Okay, good job. Next we're going to do a push-up with rotation. Okay, down on the mat. Nice push-up. And then rotate up and then push up and then rotate to the opposite direction. Ten seconds to go. I have dropped down to my knees. A little bit easier modification there. Okay, next we're going to do a curtsy lunge pulse. So we're going to go into a curtsy lunge position and then pulse five times down in one side and then switch to the other. Okay, curtsy lunge, nice and low, pulse. And then switch the other way and five pulses. Ten seconds to go. Okay, another round of the push-up with rotation. If you do them from your knees, it's going to be hard to rotate up. So just bring that arm out parallel to the ground. In three seconds. Okay, begin with the rotation. Push up and rotate the other way.
10 seconds to go. Let's get a few more in there. Okay, next is the curtsy lunge again with the pulse. Uh, curtsy lunge, Shane. Okay, there you go. Ten more seconds. Okay, we are into our last round. Nine of nine. So for this pairing, we're going to start with a single leg hip raise. Going to do five on one side and switch to the other side. So one leg out straight in front of you and then raise up those hips just as we did earlier with the hip raises. And after five on one side, you can put the foot down, other leg goes out and raise them up. And then switch again after five. Ten more seconds. Okay, the other part of this pairing is going to be high knees or a jog. We're going to finish strong here. So do the maximum effort that you feel you can do at this last couple of intervals. Okay, 45 seconds of jogging. I'm starting conservative. Ten seconds to go. Ooh, okay. High knees for ten seconds. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, down on the mat again for single leg hip raises. Five repeats on either side. Okay, really focus on your balance here, making these count and getting a nice squeeze at the top. If you find it difficult to do one leg, then go back to the regular hip raises with two feet down. Ten seconds to go. Okay, now we've got our last 45 seconds of good effort. Let's make it count. We're gonna go into a warm down after this. Get ready to go. Okay, begin the jog and or high knees or some combination of both. Okay, 20 seconds to go. Let's see if you can dial it up a bit. Okay, 
Okay, last 10 seconds. Let's go, go, go. Oh, good job. Finish strong. Nice. Okay, walk it off. We got uh, a 45 second break here and then we'll get into some stretching. Grab some water, keep walking around. <laughs> Okay, we'll start with a quad stretch. If you can do this without holding onto a chair or a wall or anything, that's great. It really helps those stabilizing muscles in the standing foot. Yeah, so right heel towards the butt. Think about a straight line from your knee through your hip, through your shoulder. So to maintain that or to achieve that straight line, you might have to push forward with your hip a little bit. And while you're doing so, you can think about flexing the top of your foot into your hand as well. Okay, switch sides. Again, don't worry so much about pulling the heel right to your butt. Think more about that front straight line on the front of your body knee, hip, shoulder. Okay, next we're going to move into a low lunge. So left knee forward, right knee down. And try to have that knee over the foot, not too far over the front of the toes. Gonna really feel this in the hip flexor on your right side. And from here, we're gonna sit back onto our heels or our heel, our right heel. Keep that left leg out in front of you and do a hamstring stretch on the left side. Tuck that chin in towards the chest. And as you inhale, you can look forward. And then as you exhale, Tuck that chin in again. Okay, we're gonna to switch to the other side with the lunge in five seconds. So low lunge with the right foot forward this time, left knee on the mat, and open up that left hip flexor. From here, we're gonna sit back towards the left heel in five seconds and get a stretch on the right hamstring. Okay, butt back towards the left heel and stretch out the right hamstring and tuck the chin into the chest on the exhalation and on the inhalation, open up the chest looking forward. And as you exhale, tuck in that chin again and bring your knee, uh, toes up towards your knee. Okay, from there, gonna move into a down dog position. So get your body into a triangle position as best you can. Really shoot those hips up towards the ceiling, open up the armpits towards the mat, and then transition down and scoop your upper body through your hands into an up dog position. Okay, now from here, you're gonna bring your feet up towards your hands and we're gonna stand up into a mountain pose. So quite simply rolling up to a nice standing position, arms together overhead, and then out to the sides and do a swan dive forward. Shake it out a bit there, grab the elbows, chin into the chest, and then roll up nice and slowly, bit by bit. All right, 
Thank you, Pierre Coupe, for the painting on the wall, titled Untitled 26. Good job, everybody. Thanks for working out with me. Thanks for working out with Top of the Hill. Don't for forget to subscribe and look forward to seeing you again. And tell a friend if you enjoy the workout. Okay, till next time.